So, after a round of somewhat shameless self-promotion, we would like to get back into what people are hopefully watching this to learn, which is how to bend PVC. Before, you know, this is going to be a lot of intro stuff before you get into the here's what you can make. What we'd like to go over now is the minimum inside diameter of a bend, so like from the inside wall to the inside wall, how small we can get the bends to go. Now there are tables available on the internet, there are charts available on the internet, but honestly I've seen how unscientific some of that information is and so what I want to do is just go through and we'll find out together here. Now I'd like to mention that PVC pipe varies from lot to lot, from manufacturer to manufacturer, and from pipe to pipe. There's things that'll be different, like the internal diameter of a half inch pipe is not perfectly a half inch. And it's the same, a lot of the properties of the material are slightly different from manufacturer to manufacturer. And honestly, I don't know enough about it to know why, I just know that in practice from doing hundreds and hundreds of bends, it's reared its ugly head from time to time. Sometimes we have a half inch pipe that won't even fit on the bender and it's like, hey, wait a second, we just did a half inch pipe five minutes ago and it slid on like a glove, what's going on? And it really, there's just no way unless you're getting it from the same manufacturer every time, which it's hard to do, even at a hardware store, it's hard to do that. You really, you're working with a ballpark material here. It's not something set in stone. So anyway, we'll start out with half inch, schedule 40. Everything we're doing here is going to be schedule 40 because this is the most common to work with stuff. Now you can also bend schedule 80 with this thing, and you can also bend class 200. Now class 200 is kind of a cheesy material in my book. I don't even know what it's made for, honestly. But for anybody who's out there working with it, yes, you can bend class 200 with the PVC bended, and it works just fine. And it's like, boom, it's ready. So anyway, half inch, number one. I'm going to skip the bend antics for now because we're going to do a lot of bends here. So let me drop this on and we'll get moving. This is where the hot tool comes in handy, by the way, it's on half inch pipe. You, know, you can actually hold your bender still and get the thing on there. And you notice I'm not actually clipping the hot tool around the bender, I'm just using it as a metal finger, honestly. So we'll be back. Well, there's no cut for you. I'll push record again when this sucker's ready to bend. So, half inch. Now let's find out what is the minimum inside diameter of a bend without a kink. Here we go. I'm starting to get some ovaling there, but you can see that's very tiny. So let's say... Okay, I think I like that. Getting a little bit of ovaling action on the pipe. Now in your forming setups, you can see that we're still in the safe zone right here. You can add something to your form, like a little lid or something that slides over that'll apply pressure to the apex of the curve and that'll allow you to go a little bit tighter without having any kink action. And you probably don't want to go much further than this but if we were to take just this tightest part of the curve and we were to extrapolate that running around it looks like it'll finish somewhere about here. So I think we're reaching three and three quarter inches, four inches from inside to inside on a half inch pipe when it's bent. So let me wet this down. I really just want the good part of the curve. Woo, steamy. So, there we have it. Now it looks like, again, it looks like we're about three and a half inches or so. So, let's move on to three quarter inch pipe now. Once again, Schedule 40. You'll see different manufacturers name pop up because honestly we go through a lot of this stuff. We keep our hardware store stock empty. So hardware store owners, you're going to have people emptying out your stock if you start carrying these things. Anyway, three quarter inch pipe on the bender. 
and we'll do the same thing. I'm just going to cut out now and we'll come back when it's ready. Okay, so three quarter inch. Once again, let's find out. It's really cool to watch those letters change. Oh man, that's cool. Anyway, so here we go. You can see that same thing is happening. We're having a little bit of oval action going on. So what I'm going to do to avoid it on this one, because I want to, I know we can get small with three quarter. We've done it. This is a really good example of how PVC can vary from stick to stick and lot to lot. We've got a three quarter inch bend that we made for a guy who does hockey rinks that we managed to make a 180 degree turn on a four inch circle. I guess we'll just, well let's keep this a freehand test. How about that? We'll see what we can do without any extra support. So, and bear in mind that your forming systems can prevent a lot of like the little ovaling or small kinks that you see. Just by setting a better form, you can avoid all of that mess. So, I have a feeling this is all this pipe is going to give us. Now again, what I'm showing here, this is really just a raw, rough, basic. If you, and I'll repeat this ten times here, if you set a good form, you can get tighter than this. And I'll pull out an example as soon as this hardens up a bit more of where we've done that. In fact, here is the example right here. This is also 3 quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. And this one we use to form. And you can see there's not any ovaling going on. And we were able to make a 4 inch inside to inside curve just by setting the right kind of form. And you can see here again, we're getting in the neighborhood here. And this is freehand, no internal support, no external support. This is what we're able to get. And that's very useful, you know, if you're making a walker or something, okay, you got it. Making the top of canes, things like that, even three quarter inch pipe can be bent tight enough that it's not ridiculous. So, let's move on to one inch. When we get here, I'm going to move into the world of internal support a little bit because larger pipes collapse easier. So. You'll be able to see also one method that we use to keep really tight bends from collapsing on this. One inch pipe. Let's take a look. I probably should have cut a longer piece. I don't know if this one's going to give us the room to really show off. But. Yeah, there we go. I can see if I push it too much further, I'm going to kink. But you got quite a ways to go. This is unsupported. Now, if we take a piece of metal hose and drop it through here, this is very cool. It's hard to do this with small diameters, but when you get bigger, bam. That is freaking tight. I'm pretty sure what you're looking at right there is inside of what they would say is even possible to do with the material. And there it is. Now, inside of a forming system, this can be sort of tricky, but it's, it's all things, it's trial and error, and sooner or later you find a way to make it happen. So say in this case, like if I pull it real tight, and I know my letters are on the outside here, that's what I want, then I can slip this out, pull it back to that, and because the plastic's been stretched, I can bring it there. If you look, I'm even a little bit tighter than I was before. And that's, I mean, internal support rocks. You do have to be careful on this, like especially in high pressure applications, when you're moving so tight, you know we stretch this wall a little bit thinner here. There's just no way to avoid that. And so, like, if you're going to put 400 pounds per square inch in it, you better be careful. You better test that in a controlled environment before you go and use it. 
but for normal residential pressure applications or like a swimming pool, a hot tub application, you know, pretty much anything that people actually already do with PVC pipe, you're going to be just fine. And you can see again, it's like, okay, we just made it quite a ways around. We made that super tight. So both for the style of a piece and for utility, you've got options here. Now let's move a little bit deeper into this. I'm going to have to sleeve up for this part. It'll take a second. And then what I'm going to do is drop a chunk of one and a quarter inch on here and we'll just keep rolling. So...